Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Putchkai, a surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona and leader of our breast cancer interest group here. Uh, I have some very exciting news to share with everyone today. Um, we are presenting this data at the American Society of Clinical Oncology next week. Uh, we performed a study in collaboration with Keras Life Sciences that may change our ability to treat triple negative breast cancer patients. I think we have signs that these patients may be treated with immunotherapy. We don't have many options for these triple negative breast cancer patients and this would really expand our ability. Not only is it specific for triple negative breast cancer patients, but it may be particularly important to patients that carry the BRCA1 mutation. This study is important because immunotherapy has become an evolving uh, type of treatment for patients with cancer. We've seen remarkable responses to immunotherapy in patients with melanoma, renal cell carcinoma, and even lung cancer. The question is, can we expand this type of therapy to patients with breast cancer? One of the things that has been found is tumors can express PDL1 or programmed death ligand 1 on their cell surfaces. Having this PDL1 on the cell surfaces makes the cancer uh, immunosuppressive or it, it, it actually is able to evade the immune system. Patients who have this PDL1, if treated with immunotherapy that targets that PDL1 receptor, or targets the corresponding receptor on the T cell, we see dramatic responses. The question is, are these, are these receptors on breast cancers at all? So we undertook a study with Keras Life Sciences that looked at all, all breast cancers that actually were sent in for evaluation. What we found is there were two groups of patients who actually had high expression of this PDL1 ligand. These were one, the estrogen receptor positive breast cancer patients, and the hard to treat triple negative breast cancer patients. Because triple negative breast cancer patients, that means they do not have estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, or HER2 receptors on their cell surfaces. Um, they are difficult to treat. We only have certain chemotherapeutic options. We decided to focus our study on these group of patients. What we found is about 25 to 30 percent of patients actually overexpress uh, PDL1. What is very interesting with this is that not only are those patients who overexpress the PDL1 are, are androgen receptor negative, meaning they don't carry the androgen receptor. They're truly triple negative, or we call them quadruple negative, meaning everything being negative. And we found that there was a high incidence of BRCA1 uh, mutation. So patients who carry the inheritable breast cancer gene may have this kind of receptor on them. This also means that we may be able to target these patients with immunotherapy. It also tells us we may be able to target these patients with this immunotherapy in combination with a specific chemotherapy to make it more effective. Now, these are just preliminary studies, but they're quite exciting. And if they prove to be true with further validation studies that are ongoing now, I think it could change how we treat these breast cancer patients. After this study, uh, we're trying to do validation studies, meaning can we confirm the findings we just had? What we're actually hoping to prove is that these patients that have an overexpression of PDL1, making them immunosuppressive, um, also have changes in their DNA, such as the DNA repair genes, and confirmation of this PDL1 expression and DNA repair genes actually could tell us how we can treat these patients in the future and then lead to clinical trials combining immunotherapy with chemotherapy, hopefully for better treatment options for these difficult to treat patients. If you have any other questions about the treatment of breast cancer or clinical trials we have available for you, 
please feel free to visit the Mayo Clinic website.